19 through 21 rational exponents. We're going to have both negative and positive ones with a fractional base. So just reminding you that when I have a fractional exponent, I rewrite it as a radical expression. 1 9th to the 3 halves power means I'm going to have the 1 9th and I'm going to do the square root of that cubed. Now I really didn't need all that parentheses and stuff, but just so that you can see where everything went, the denominator of the fraction is the index to my radical, the numerator stays with my fraction. Now you could cube that first, but then your number would be kind of big, so it's easier to do the square root first. The square root of 1 9th is going to be 1 3rd, because the square root of 9 is 3. I'm then going to cube that, and so 1 cube, 1 3rd cube is going to be 1 over 27. Now you'll notice on the Alex program they don't always put the parentheses and they just put the exponent with the number that's not a 1, because 1 to any power stays 1, so you really don't have to think about 1 to the 3rd is 1, you're just doing the 3 to the 3rd is 27. If I'm doing that on my calculator, I have to be careful and use parentheses around the fractions. So I would do 1 9th to the 2 thirds power and put both of those fractions in parentheses for the calculator to figure that out correctly. Now remembering on this one, if I have a negative exponent, we have to do the reciprocal of the base first. So this one is rewritten as 1 over 32 to the positive 4 fifths power. So I do the reciprocal of the base first. Now I do it like I do the previous one. So I'm going to do the fifth root of 1 over 32 raised to the fourth power. Doing my fifth root first, the fifth root of 1 over 32 would be 1 half. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 to the fifth power is 32. So 1 half, and then I'm going to do the 1 half to the 4th power. 2 to the 4th power is 16, so I get 1 over 16. So the first answer was 1 over 27, the second one was 1 over 16. On the next one, same kind of thing. I look here first and say, oh, there's a negative exponent. Whenever there's a negative exponent, I have to do the reciprocal. So 1 over 81 to the 3 fourths power is what I'm going to calculate. The fourth root of 1 over 81 cubed then. The fourth root of 81 is going to be 3. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. So 1 third to the third power gives me 1 over 27. Now if you don't have your powers memorized, you may want to make a table do all your squares, do your cubes, do some fourth powers, and probably two to the fifth, maybe three to the fifth is about as big as you're going to do. But the fifth power, the most common one, is the fifth root of 32 is two. Number 20, the second part is the same kind of thing here. Again, I have that negative exponent, so I have to do the reciprocal. The reciprocal of one over 32 just makes this 32 to the 3 fifths power. Again, I really don't need the parentheses, but hey, I put them there. So I'm going to do the fifth root of 32, and then I'm going to cube that answer. The fifth root of 32 is 2, and 2 cubed is going to give me 8 for my answer. In all of these, you should be able to punch into your calculator and check. Just make sure you're putting parentheses around the fractions when you put them in your calculator. So number 21 here, again I look, I have 32 to the negative 3 fifths power. Since my exponent is negative, I have to do the reciprocal. So I make it 1 over 32 to the positive 3 fifths power. Now that my exponent is positive, I can go ahead and calculate that out. So the fifth root of 1 over 32 cubed is my problem. The fifth root of 1 over 32 would be 1 half. And then if I take one half and cube it, I'm going to end up with one eighth. And the next one there, I'm going to do one sixteenth to the three halves power. Notice this time my exponent is positive, not negative, so I'm not going to flip it over to start with. I'm just going to do the square root of one sixteenth and raise my answer to the third power. 
So the square root of 16 is 4. So square root of 1 16 is 1 fourth. 1 fourth raised to the third power. 4 to the third power is 64. So 1 over 64 is going to end up being my answer.